Kyle Gibson came to Columbia, Missouri with a plan. He didn't know how far baseball would take him, but he knew he was going to become Mizzou made. You know, there's a lot of guys that go to Missouri that aren't you know, recruited by big schools. They, they go there and they try to get better and they try to make themselves better as a person and a player. And, and uh, I was one of those guys, go there and get under the right coaches and get in the right system and become a Mizzou made product. And that is how the kid from Greenfield, Indiana became all conference, all American, and one of the best strikeout pitchers in program history. He had great examples to learn from, following Max Scherzer by a year and a teammate to Aaron Crow for two seasons. We had a, a very more professional approach. It was not about you know going up there and, and throwing balls and trying to just get guys to swing and miss all the time. We were really focused on forcing contact and having quick at bats and, and getting guys to swing the bat early and put the ball in play. Great job by Gibson getting the ground ball. Scherzer, Crow, then Gibson three hurlers who set the tone for Mizzou baseball as Columbia became the cradle of pitching in the mid-2000s. Watching those guys and how they attack their Friday night starts, um, it's the biggest start of the weekend for any team in a conference schedule. And watching how Aaron Crow went about that for two years really helped me out and allowed me to understand what that mindset and that mentality needed to be my junior year. By the time he was done in a Tiger uniform, Kyle Gibson took a backseat to nobody in the history of the program. 304 career Ks, second in Mizzou history, and the Mizzou record for strikeouts in a single season in his junior year of 2009, breaking Max Scherzer's mark. I'll never forget that start. Um, it was against Monmouth in a regional, and uh, that last inning, I think it was the eighth inning, you know, I, I got the strikeout and Coach Lewis came up to me and said, let me guess, you're probably done now, right? I said, what do you mean? He's like, well, you just tied Max for the most strikeouts in a season. And uh, I didn't realize that that was the one. It's pretty special you know, to, to know that guys like Max and, and Aaron and, and guys before them uh, were drafted to play pro ball. And, and to be in the same company as Max on that number is, is really special. Success in the majors followed. A first round draft pick of the Minnesota Twins in 2009, a sizzling five strikeouts in his big league debut, and over 800 more cents in seven seasons. And now the latest honor, induction into the Mizzou Athletics Hall of Fame. You know, being inducted into the Hall of Fame is something that you really never you know, anticipate. You don't go to college and say, man, I want to become a Mizzou Hall of Famer. It was something that really didn't even creep into my mind a whole lot. Uh, it actually kind of blew me away when I got the call from Mr. Sterk and, and uh, didn't, didn't even see it coming. And to understand the, the tradition of Mizzou baseball and, and to understand what being Mizzou made means to be inducted is really special.